Hi everyone, my name is Warren Bennett, the head professional at Chesterfield Golf Club. Thank you very much for joining me on this video. There's no arc in a chipping action. So what I mean by that, a full swing, we have more of an arc of the club going round us on a kind of a flat plane, especially coming down into the ball. You definitely don't want that for a chipping action, especially one that's quite close to the green like we are here. So what I mean by that is the club needs to be going quite straight back and through, especially back and into the ball here. If this club breaks this yellow stick and swings too far around me, now you're in a position where the club's not naturally high, so it's quite low to the ground, and, the and coming into the ball, it's gonna to be too inside, so you're probably gonna to have to make some correction. So if it feels quite flicky through the ball with your wrists, firstly try the backswing. Make sure the backswing's definitely out. So the great chippers of the past have always had this club quite out in front of them on the way back. You can see there the club is outside my hands. From here, it's got natural height, so it can allow, the club can be allowed to drop onto the ball without any corrections and without any hit. So a little short chip like this. I'm gonna keep the club outside this yellow stick. And so I can just drop it on there. So there's no corrections or having to hit it to correct. So I've got this yellow stick down just for visual, remember, Keep the fundamentals good at address. Nice bit of weight on the left side, but you're keeping this club outside the line. It might feel like the club's going outside the line, but you'd rather that side of the fence than bring it inside the line here. Because remember, remember, if you drag it from the inside, you're either gonna have to flick it too much and lift, or you might hit the ground. Remember, there's no natural drop from this inside position. So you're gonna have to correct. Remember, you're looking for this club, especially in like rough, you're looking for it to drop down on the ball quite steeply, but it has to be naturally steep. There's no tendency to actually hit down. So that's one more. Keep it outside the line, outside the yellow stick, outside my hands, nice and still with the head, and allow the club to be dropped onto the ball. Try that next time you go out, you'll be amazed at the results. See you next time. Cheerio.